So please tell me, how did you find out that your boyfriend was cheating on you? Um, we were talking and then we were in the car together and we went to my house because we were dropping off baby stuff. So once we dropped off the baby stuff, he, um, my family members had came around and it had gotten to a big argument. Mm -hmm. So once it became a big argument, he ended up like blowing up and he left. So once he left, he turned off his location and stuff. Next thing I know, it went hours without texting me. We was going back and forth arguing afterwards. Mm -hmm. So then I waited. So then the next day, I went on his Twitter. I seen a video of him and his ex. They were having sex. So then when that happened. You saw that where? On Twitter. You saw him and his ex having sex on Twitter? Yes. OK. So then once that happened. He posted that? Yes. OK. And so knowing that you two were together, he posted this Yes. for you to see. But he blocked me, so I couldn't see. I had to make a whole other account to see. To see that. Mm -hmm. OK. And how did you react when you saw all this and you heard all this? I mean, it really, like, it kind of hurt my feelings, but it really made me just kind of look at him different because we just had a baby. It kind of hurt your feelings, or did it hurt your feelings? It hurt my feelings. I know. Here, here you go, bro. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah, I understand you're trying to be brave right now, but any one of us here understands that if you see the person that you are engaged, having a relationship with, who you just had a child with, is on online having sex with their ex, it's going to hurt. Because I already knew what was, like, women's intuition, that's yeah. all I'm going to say, like, yeah. I already had a feeling, but it's just the way that, like, he would try to, like, lie about it and stuff, it just made it. Yeah kind of believable, but I still felt some type of way about you it. You sweet, sweet young woman. How old are you? 19. 19. So you are young. Okay. And you have a two-month-old son? Yes, he just turned two months on the seat. Okay. Oh, it's adorable. Um, how hard has it been being a teen mother? Because that's what you are. You're a teen um, mother. It's it's very adventurous. <laughs> adventurous. Like it's, That's a great way to describe it, okay? Like It's just a lot of different things that happens with it. Um, it's kind of fun when, like, you you just get to know his personality and stuff. You're discovering who your child is. Yes. Yeah. But is there a lot that you're discovering about yourself as a woman? I would say so. You would say so? Because I really, I wouldn't say me and my mom had the best relationship, honestly, so. Uh-huh. So yeah. how, what are you discovering yourself about yourself as a woman? Um, honestly, like, how to deal with my emotions and stuff, because I wasn't taught how to deal with my emotions. Yeah. I always bottled them up. Yeah, poor bit. Okay. So, there's, honestly, like, the main problem with mm -hmm. me, personally, I would say. Yeah. Has he supported you and your child? Yes, most definitely. Okay. Um, he is a, if anything, he is a father. A great father? Yeah. Yeah, good. And why is it so important that you two stay together? I honestly, I want a family. I always wanted a family because that's something I really never got to experience mm. while I was young. And so you want the family that you didn't have? Yes. Got it. I understand. Are you a good mother? Most definitely. Um, <laughs> I, I had him ever since. I had him ever since he came from the hospital. Yeah. That's, that's like, okay. I credit him more than, I probably take care of him more than I take care of myself. This. Mm. This is just my piece. He made my heart. Mm, got it. I hear you. Um, so back to TC. Mm -hmm. You had suspected him of cheating before. I caught him, actually. So. You caught him? Yes. So the video on, on Twitter wasn't the first time. Mm -mm. You had caught him before? Yes. Mm -hmm. And what had happened? Did you confront him? Yes. He was actually at, like, because I was staying with my grandparents. So he was at the house with me. And he had fell asleep, and I had went through his phone, as I always do. Uh huh. And he was texting this girl. He was sending her, you know, pictures of his private area. And, you know. Got it. Now, we're here because you wanted your man to unlock his phone to find out if he's been talking to other women as well as his ex. What will you do if we find out that he has been talking to someone? I would honestly ask him why, and why would you just lie? It, if I ask for honesty, why you won't be honest with me? Okay, so your response is not you wouldn't leave? No, because that's just, with me, 
just me for just me want a family honestly mm -hmm. i don't I always say i don't have to be happy i don't have to be nothing I, as long as my son is in a home and i'm able to refrain him from seeing that it's fine with me okay i hear you so what do you want to happen today um i honestly want to know if he's cheating on me so i can know how to move in the situation got it well let's meet your boyfriend tc and hear his side of the story tc come on out Hey, TC. Welcome to the show. How you doing? How Thanks you doing? for being here. So how do you feel about what she's been saying? Uh, I, I love Jasmine a lot, but it's just, I told her from once I seen that it just wasn't it, I didn't want to be in a relationship. OK, so what happened on New Year's Eve? Uh, I got into an altercation with her family, and pretty much I just stormed off and left, and I just wanted to just disappear and forget about everything. So that's when I went with my ex. and. Mm -hmm. Who came after you when you walked across the street trying to help you? You did, but I also told you to go with your family. I didn't, I didn't want you to chase me. Okay, cool. Why did you decide to cheat? It's pretty much for reinsurance for myself. Reinsurance. What reinsurance? That I just, I, whenever I cheat, it just make me forget about all the drama and mess and everything. Mm-hmm. So it's not reassurance, it's a distraction. Mm-hmm. So you use women as a distraction mm -hmm. from focusing on your own emotions and feelings. What are you trying to be distracted from? Just the mess. Mm -hmm. The mess of what? What do, you, what, what do you consider as messy in your life? Of uh, all the, the nagging stuff and that don't go stuff his way. that she accused me for, her, her family for one. Mm -hmm. And just it's a lot of stuff. It's not accusing if you do it. Okay. That is true. It's not accusing if you do it. So she's not accusing you. She's just calling out what she said she's caught you doing. All right. Uh huh. Were you happy when you found out she was pregnant? Most definitely, yes. You were? Yeah. OK. Was this your first child? Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. All right, then. And how does it feel to be a father? Uh, it's different. Most definitely different when it be my first. Yeah, it's, it's different. I love yeah. It. Yeah. Is she a good mother? 100%. OK. She said but you're a good father. She said that I was a bad mother. Yeah, you was a bad mom because some of the stuff that you was doing. What did I do? You would still have my son and you would go around with all your friends drinking, smoking, doing Are who you knows tripping? what. Because no, I was not. So you don't? No. You don't? No. Okay. The child's two months old. Have you been around friends that are doing bad things? No. Okay. I have she not. lied. Who she lied? Well, I don't I... have to lie about anything. You <laughs> was definitely you lying. You know, I don't okay. never have drink around nobody. I barely have him around. My homeboys that I do have, because you know I only hang out with boys, because I don't get along with females. You know this. I tell you everywhere let I me, go, you must it, be at my location. Right there. How, how do you think that make me feel, having homeboys? OK, and how would it, how you think you like a female's pictures on Instagram make me feel? A picture? I can see I'm liking a picture. Being around them, I'm not doing that. You actually around the boys. I'm okay. just literally strolling and liking. And you're actually liking. around the females. Why did you post that video on Twitter? Mm, just being adventurous, fun, just doing shit. Okay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. But Are you... you hurt me when you posted the video and you just act like that. When you do stuff, it doesn't bother me, but you say you love me, so I don't understand where you're coming from. But my thing But did is, you know she would see it? No, I, I didn't think about that, honestly, but me knowing her, I should have thought that she would probably go make like a fake account and try and go to go see it, it. Yeah. okay. Well, I think it's time to unlock the phone because that's the most important thing here. Uh, Jasmine, you wanted me to unlock his phone to check his apps, his DMs, and calls to see if he was talking to his ex or any other um, women. Yes, that's your biggest concern. All right, so listen, in this envelope is the unlock the phone results. Are you ready for this? Yes. All right, well, we don't have any results because TC refused to unlock his phone. Why did you do that? But my, pro my producer would tell me that you made a confession, TC, before this show. I care about you, but I am not in love with you, and I don't want to be in a relationship with you. I'm thankful for everything that you've done for me, and I'm thankful for our son, but I just can't do it. I have been seeing other women. I've been texting other women. There's no reason to unlock my phone. I don't want you to see it. We can still co-parent, and we can be friends, but as far as the relationship goes, I'm sorry, but it's a wrap. 
Okay, Jasmine, how do you feel about what just was just said? I mean, it's expected because how we argue and stuff, so it's really expected to me. So Okay. I mean I would say like it means like I like it kinda hurt me though because I know I can't have like I can't my son can't have his family because of like, you know, being in a separate home, but I mean, mm -hmm. it's just something I'm gonna have to deal with. TC, what's going through your head right now? Uh, honestly, the main thing that's going through my head right now is, to me personally, being in love with somebody is different than just loving somebody. Like I love Jasmine, but she's in love with me, and I feel like that's a difference. Mm -hmm. Like I'm not in love with her, but I love her, mm -hmm. and she's in love with me. Just it just. It's not that. I wouldn't necessarily say I'm in love with you. It's just, I see, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, see you how just, you just said that? Then you expect me to Because be. you, like, you make me feel a certain way, and then you turn around and act like a totally different person. So it just, it's just weird. It's on and off feelings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, this, is, this is completely heartbreaking for me because you're so young, both of you. And there's a lot of growth that needs to happen between each of you individually. I don't know what's going on with you, why you think that this behavior of like using women to deflect from your own feelings, because that's what you're doing. I will tell you this, that that behavior, I know a lot of young guys who have access to women and they feel like they're special and they feel good, a lot of them end up being older and lonely. But see, also, I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm cool with just being alone. I've always been alone. Before I met Jazz, You're not cool I just, with that. I, I'm just You're not cool with alone. that. And so what I brought that up for is because it goes, your statement is exactly what, why I said I'm heartbroken. Because whatever damage you've had in your own life and your own past makes you feel like it's fine. I've been doing it on my own all along, and I've been wanting to be by myself, so I don't care if nobody wants me. So I'm going to hurt whoever because I, I'm hurting inside and I can't express it. So I'm going to do whatever. And the issue for you two as a couple is that we found somebody who's feeling rejected by the world, so they're okay with being alone, and we found somebody who's been rejected by the world who wants to find a family. And those things don't match. They don't. And the problem for you, which really breaks my heart, is that I'm hearing you, you say, it doesn't matter if he loves me or not. It doesn't matter if I, I'm happy. My happiness doesn't matter. These are your own words throughout this entire time. And I need to let you know that it does matter. It does matter if you're happy. It not only matters for yourself and for your own self-esteem, but it also matters for that child. As a young mother, I have to tell you that. <laughs> the family you wanted, that you were hoping to build with him, you can create by learning to love yourself and understanding that you have that family now. There's going to be a bond that you and your child have. And that doesn't take away the co-parenting that I want you all to do. And I heard you say, and I'm happy you said that, because you can't co-parent without having intimate emotions between you two. But what you need to realize is that keep, if you keep searching for this family unit, feeling like it has to look this certain way, you're going to find yourself in heartbreak after heartbreak. You just said out of your own mouth, I don't want my child to feel what I felt continuing to stay in these relationships and not work on your own self-esteem and self-worth is going to make your child feel that way. What do you got to say about what I said? Because I know you're smart. You might be young, but you're smart. I understand. I know you I do. understand that because sometimes, like, when I cry because of what's going on, he'll start, like... I know. He'll get, like, more caring. Like, he'll be wanting me to hold him and stuff. So I'll be understanding that. Me and my emotions do have an effect on him. Yeah. Yeah. Your happiness is so important because whether you know it or not, your son is a sponge and he will soak up every and whatever feeling you have. I feel really bad and I'm really sorry that this turned out like this. It's fine. No, it's not fine. So as a man, I'm telling you I'm sorry that that happened because you didn't deserve it. You hear me? Yes, sir. And vice versa for you. I appreciate your honesty and your candor, but you know, there needs to be work to done here because what we can't do, one of the things I talk about on this show is generational trauma and generation passing on the scars that we've had in the past is that I'm watching two young people that if y'all don't figure this out right now, it's, the scars are gonna get passed on. And I don't want that to get passed on. All right, I love you both, all right? I appreciate it. All right. all right, everyone, stay with us, friends. We'll be right back with more. Yeah.